You know, wait, I don't really chew gum on camera. Notion, I just gotta give you a little. I am proud. I'm proud that you finally updated, well, projects. For a while now, we've been using Notion. There's been all these different ways that I've showcased how to use Notion as a project system. I have it as a project management system in plenty of ways. But now, with some recent updates from Notion, we actually have some serious improvements to the ways that you can project. One of the main ways that they can be seen is in some of the new templates that they've been releasing. And if I just go to create a new template within Notion and go to templates and then go to project tasks and sprints, it's a good example for if I press get template, how exactly this system works. First and foremost, just a quick call out, you'll notice that this task ID is a new property that exists. So within here, we have an ID. So anytime I create a new task, it has an automatic ID that cannot be changed. And this, if I just press create new property, also then shows us something really cool, which is the fact that we have suggested properties. Now, this is pretty new and hasn't been rolled out to a lot of people, but if you see, if I press estimates here, it's taking it based off of what's in here. So estimates, market task, as blocked by another task. So I was able to just add dependencies. And then another one is if I do description, you'll see that it allows me to create a text field very quickly with a description. And this is all part of their new updates to not only projects, but AI, which I will get into the AI updates in a future video, but I did just wanna call that out to start. What I've kind of noticed here is that Notion is trying to give a more guided setup to the different ways that you can manage projects. In all of their different marketing material on their website, they brought together these different Notion project templates. Uh, they've created this entire initiative that's like introducing Notion projects that is implementing different parts with AI, which once again, we'll get into another video, but also bringing up a few other improvements like status automations, which is something that we've been wanting in Notion for a while, showcasing the exact info that you wanna track, showcasing all of this in a litany of different templates that it seems like Notion is trying to guide people with. On their website even, they've showcased how they're going to have these automated setups, it's like there is a little bit of an automation theme here with this star, where you're able to like complete sprints and go to the next sprint. They're trying to augment Notion projects and make it more and more of a guided system that pairs with different external tools. So something that we've wanted in Notion for a long time is connection to other applications. So it seems like they're trying to showcase that it can be connected with things like GitHub pull requests, Slack is gonna be a big thing, Jira, and by enhancing these systems with other tools and AI, Notion is trying to separate itself as not just like a school calendar as a school application for note-taking, but they started with wikis and they already had docs. So now with sort of Notion AI and the ability to augment information, get questions answered, and evidently now, adding things like tasks IDs so that you can have a better setup for sprints and better integrations, Notion is attempting to make it so that it is a better option in comparison to its competitors for Notion projects. And just projects in general, it doesn't have to be just Notion. I'm very interested in seeing what these status automations are. Like for example, when a status is set to not started, set assigned to Lauren. When status is set to in progress, set assigned to Tyler. Now this is something that SmartSuite does really well That's a sponsor of the channel. And having tools like this competitive and actually doing things that are similar, but in different UI UXs is something that is gonna be on the lookout. I mean, they're even trying to make improvements what I can tell to how the statuses show, for example, because if you see on this, when I go to properties, it's not the case. You're not gonna be, you can't really, the, the look of what we're, we're going with, it, it, it seems like they're really trying to do an overhaul here. There's a lot of fun stuff happening behind the scenes and it almost feels like they're trying to guide us in a new direction for how we should be using our Notion workspaces. I've been a Notion consultant on and off for a while now, and this is like another step forward for having things that you know don't really require third-party automation and third-party tools that have to augment the system with automation. So I am very much excited to see how this works, but I've never seen a very large announcement and multiple people saying, oh, I'm so excited about the new Notion project stuff. I'm like, all these features are, you know, relatively similar, but they're trying to guide the user base in a direction here to showcase the power 
of the AI tools, which we will be diving into in another video. I think AI here is something that I'm really excited about. I've been a chat GPT plus user for a while, but I haven't really used Notion AI. So maybe this is gonna be a reason for me to do that. Make sure to tune into a video that I'm releasing later this week to learn more about these updates. I wanna know your thoughts on the situation, but from my perspective, it seems like they're trying to give better solutions for engineering teams. It seems like a lot of different companies are trying to tailor their new feature set to B2B because that is quite frankly where the money is at. I mean, I don't, I don't know about you, but not a lot of students are out here requiring task IDs and, and GitHub connections. <laughs> let me know what you think about these updates and let me know what your thoughts are on, on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.